Guys, we're so close, man. We're so close. Sorry, I was taking some photos here. Not those kind of photos. Only fans coming soon. I'm just kidding. Um, we got Ren featuring BB. We got Crutch. This came highly requested, but I noticed when I clicked on this video, Ren is at uh, 923,000 subscribers. He's almost at a milli. Guys, let's get him there before July. Yeah, just take one second to throw him a like. Go subscribe. It's all, it's all it takes. Just one quick second to show some love. I just almost took the cord out of the headset. I'd love to have you too. Be sure to hit subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. And uh, I'm covering everything from this man's catalog. I mean, I'm going to go digging deep through the crates. I'm also going to be digging through Sam Tompkins' content and Chinchillas. Everyone's content. I'm digging through everything. And the big push, of course. All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. And if you need me, don't forget to reach out. I'm always here for you guys. I wouldn't have this channel if it wasn't for you. I love you. Let's go. All right. Crush. Troubles won't follow me I've got none to lose Cause everything turned to dust around me My hope it got so bruised Cause circumstance held me and it drowned me I'm searching for the glue To try and fix these broken things around me artistry too man uh, i didn't mean to pause on your toes my bought my guy but uh my boy <laughs> i mean to pause at your toes right there but the artistry right here is beautiful like i said you're not getting just music you're getting pieces of art i'm searching for the glue to try and fix these broken things around me So don't you dare say you're fold folding the sound like she said. Something he said though, too. Dude, think about this. Not man, I know I keep on repeating myself, but being able to maintain this creativity, and maybe this was the only thing that kept him sane while dealing with all these ailments and feeling messed up from what he was undiagnosed with. I'm not going to get into details, it's not my place to speak. Uh, and even though I just spoke on it, I'm just saying I'm not going to get too much into the, in the detail to be able to make these songs and to keep up while fighting. This just shows you the heart that he has, man, and how much he loves music. Look at the performances, too. Like I said, it's not just a song. It's performances, man. Into the fires of hell if it would ease the burning But please don't lose your trust The man I know is brave so don't you dare say you're folding I can be your crutch That's where it kicks in, don't say you're folding I can be your crutch, you can lean upon me But I always tell you guys if you ever need someone to talk to Please lean on me man, I'm always here for you guys I'm not perfect, I don't have the answers But I'm here if you really need someone to talk to 
Having panic attack vibes right now, dude. That's what this reminds me of. She's not even there. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, this is music by Ren, guest vocals by BB, cinematography by Tom Slater, video editing by Tom Slater and Ren, directed by Ren, Tom Slater and Lula uh, Edmonds. I had to give them a shout out. It's done so well, dude. And like I said, be so young. It's from, this is from Freckled Angels. This album is fire, dude. This album, everything that I've heard so far is fire. And I know some people were kind of giving me flack when I said that, like, oh, it was it was a little bit commercially, it was a little bit more pop, it was more this, this, that. Look, when you're an up and coming artist, you, 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 the old school way, and, and Ren's been doing this for a long time. You might think of it as an overnight success. It's not. You're seeing ten years or more of an overnight success here, dude. Even when I first started, it was always about like with my label when I first started, it was how many how many hits can you get? You know, when it comes to, uh, you know, people, how many songs can you make to play in a club? How many songs can you make to play in a car? How many songs could you make, you know, love song, breakup songs? Like there, there's there's certain quotas and songs that they, they want you to make that you have to make that are, are, are mass appealing, you know. So what I get from this album so far, I think I've heard three tracks. All of them still maintain that run element of the artistry, but but they are a bit more mass appealing. It, it, it's not so much that it takes away from the art either, which is something I really appreciate. But like this, this video messed me up, man. When when the strobe light was going off and he was in his bathroom and you know how if he was sweating or had water on him either way that reminds me of a panic attack. That's pretty much what a panic. I mean I can't tell you what it feels like because your adrenaline just keeps dumping over and over again and you're sweating. You're putting water on your face. You're you're trying like uh, vagal maneuvers if you know what I'm talking about to stimulate your vagus nerve to kind of get your heart to like get back on a normal track because it feels irregular. Um, and you're taking the medication and you just you're just bugged out you're freaked out and everything's just it's impending doom and you're having all these horrible thoughts about some of the craziest stuff that i could never explain to you maybe i'll try to explain a, a panic attack to you on a regular video if you guys would ever want me to make a separate video one day and try to explain what my panic attacks are like or what my experiences are and like what i try to do to cope with them because i still have them to this day uh, even without medication and stuff, I, I can get through them, but it's not the easiest thing. And I still, I'm still prescribed medication, but I try not to take it. I supplement, you know, and I try to exercise and I try to stay as, as creative as I can. It does help. And that's why I even said during the video that that's why I had the realization that maybe while he was going through all this shit, music was the only thing keeping him going. Like, that's what was kind of messing with me a little bit when I was thinking about it. Like, I could not imagine the pain 
and the frustration and the anxiety of every single day not knowing what's going on and knowing that you're something's when you you know when something's wrong with your body and everyone's telling you no 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 i've been there i've been there doctor told me oh no no nothing's wrong nothing's wrong nothing wrong nothing's wrong yeah and, and, and until i keep pressing the issue and then i finally find it ah, man it's frustrating so i i feel for i for, i feel for ren man i, I really do and uh I guess maybe that's why I, myself and millions and millions of other relate is because we've all gone through similar shit and anxiety is becoming more and more popular. Dude, we're animals. Our, our instincts are to be in nature, hunt. You know, uh, we have primitive instincts and things we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to be stuck in this fucking rat race of everyday consuming nonstop technology and getting dopamine r rushes and releases from swiping right and moving and checking apps and shit. Like, it's messing with our brain receptors, you know, which in turn just fucks with our whole neurological system. And, you know, uh, I'm not, I, I can get into a whole spiel here, man, but I, I appreciate what Ren's doing and, bringing this to light. That's why I said I, I'd love to have a conversation with this man um, and, and talk about mental health and, and not just music. It doesn't have to be just about music. I mean, you know, obviously that, that's his passion. It's my passion. It's my love. And I know it's his love too. Um, but man, mental health needs to be spoke, spoken about more, especially from men's perspectives. Um, Suicide rates are way too high for everybody, uh, and, and people are still afraid or still, you know, deemed a wussy or a pussy if they talk about their feelings and shit like that. Like, got to break that mold, man. We got to break that mold because, honestly, actually, when you talk about it, it actually makes you a better person. It, 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 you're growing from that, you know. And I, I'd, I'd let any of my friends come to me and wake me up in the middle of the night and cry to my, cry on my shoulder and then have to, like, go through a funeral or something like that. Like, any day. I, I would take that any day over having to lose somebody. I don't care if it was my mom, family member, a friend, somebody on YouTube. That's why I say, guys, reach out to me if you need me. I'd rather you message me at 3 or 4 in the morning. You don't bother me. You can wake me up, whatever. I don't care. I'd rather be there for you. If you're really having like a, an emergency, I'm going to obviously tell you to see a specialist. But if you just need someone to talk to, I'm here, dude. Just hit me up, all right? I mean that shit. I don't say that so you follow me. I don't say that so I get the most subscribers in the world. I can give a fuck less. I want the channel to do well. Of course, I want to help these artists get as much promotion as I can. But at the end of the day, like that's what I'm here for is to help you guys and help promote artists. Bottom line. That's it. So on that note, before I go off on a tangent, because I just, uh, I want there to be answers for anxiety, because I know what it's like for people who are going through it, and then they're silently going through it, and they don't know what to do, or they don't have people around them to talk about it. And when you talk to talk about it to people, they don't want to hear it, or they just tell you, oh, just relax, or oh, it's just, it's just this, it's just that. Like, you don't know. Until you're going through it, you don't know. Dude, I had friends who used to make fun of me when I was a kid. I come from South Side Chicago. I come from a very rough area in the world. I mean, obviously, it's a lot worse. But I'm saying the United States, all right? My friends would give me a hard time. And I remember when I was about, like, 27 years old, one of my friends called me, and he thought he was having a heart attack. And I said, I'll be right there. I drove over, and I was, I was sitting there, and I'm like, he's like, oh, take me to the hospital, this, this, and that. And I'm like... Okay, I'll take you to the hospital, no problem. I started to ask him questions as we started getting ready to go to the hospital. And I could tell he's having a panic attack. It was no, it was no heart attack. I tell, I'm, I'm no doctor, but I can tell what a panic attack is. His thoughts were impending doom. He had no pain, no pressure on his chest. There was nothing like that. He was no tingling in his arm. There was no, it was just he had this feeling of impending doom and the adrenaline. I could see him shaking from the adrenaline over and over again. So finally, I told him while we were driving, we sat in the parking lot at the hospital and it was cold out. It was the winter time, and I had the windows down and he's like, it's cold. I'm like, good, let it be cold. When you're cold, it helps. It helps uh, stimulate your vagus nerve again to help relax you. 
And then as he started getting colder, the more he started to relax a little bit and the adrenaline started to wear off. And he was like, I'm starting to feel better. I'm like, are you? He's like, yeah, I am. Like, what's going on? I roll up the windows and I, I started driving him back home. So I said, do you want to go in? He's like, no, I'm okay. And I said, dude, you're, you're having a panic attack. And he was like, this is what you've been going through your whole life. And I was like, yeah, man, this is similar to what I've been going through. He was like, dude, I'm so sorry I ever made fun of you. Like, I never knew like this is what it was like. I'm, I'm so sorry. I thought I was going to die. I was like, that's what they feel like, man. So I, I sympathize for people who, who, who've gone through it. And I just want to help as many people as I can. But anyways, that was a story time with Cliff. Um, thanks for watching. I love you. Be sure to subscribe to the original artist, Ren and BB. Does BB have a channel? I want to find BB. Where's BB? Where's BB? I'll find BB in a minute and I'll go subscribe. Um, I'd love to have you too. Hit subscribe. Let me know what you want me to see next. Comment down below. I am reading your comments. I'm going with the most liked comment. And since you guys keep subscribing to Ren, of course, I'm going to keep on checking out Ren. I'm a huge fan of his work and uh, everything that he represents so far, man. Well, what he's been doing with social media and riding this wave and you know, going about this strategically is very impressive. Very impressive. Um, but I love you guys. Stay safe. If anybody needs me, anxiety, depression, panic attacks, PTSD, addiction, whatever the case may be, please hit me up. You're more than welcome. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with that, join my Discord. Everyone there's got your back. We have like a thousand members. Everyone there is amazing. Great place to network. And they all listen. They all know what it's like to go through mental health issues. Um, over on Patreon, you you never I'll never tell you like you have to go sign over to Patreon. I don't give a shit if you do or don't. You're gonna get free content on YouTube anyway. But if you are a Patreon member and you do uh if you do consistently do pay for donations, my, the window for donations are, is closing by Friday. I'm already bombarded. I don't want there to be too many, and I can't get to them all. So by Friday, I'm going to close that window. It'll be closed for about a month, and then I'll get back to doing more after another month. So I'm um, just giving you a heads up on that, and I'd love to see you over there. I love you. Stay safe. And uh, run another one in the books, and I want to check out this entire album. And I just want to say from me to you, dude, you know, uh, I'm proud of you for fucking fighting through this shit and being able to hone your craft while feeling, while being sick and dealing with this. And I know that, I don't, I'm not going to say I, I know, but I'm assuming that all this made this much worse and this made this much worse. So it was like a double-edged sword, I guarantee, because that's what fucking happened to me, man. So I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm glad that you're doing better. And I, I know there's no cure. Um, all we can really do is treat, you know, mental health disorders and manage them. And I'm just proud of you, man. I, I sure, I'm sure I, I speak uh, for everybody that's a fan of yours. Is we're all proud of you. Keep going, man. We love you. Thank you for everything, guys.